Hey, good morning. It's Julie with J Auto Trading Strategies. The markets <clears throat> rallied up overnight, seeing green across the board on the market analyzer. And I must take it that this move really started happening uh, in the Globex session, uh, 3.30 in the morning central for crude, broke out of its range, and it has not looked back. So we are really rallying up. The only thing that I can attribute this to is we're going into our EIA report today. And um, let's take a look at the um, calendar to see what the API report showed last night. This on Central Time. And it showed an additional three and a half million barrel uh, inventory depletion. And we also um, have some security situation in Nigeria uh, so with this inventory depletion, we are at a near 10 month high. I guess we exceeded that 10 month high overnight and we're still rallying. So um, this is off the um, Cushing depletion and the Nigeria situation, but the markets overall across the board green, very unusual to see this. So um, Pick long as your direction today um, and after these dips, so you buy at a level that you like, like a VWAP level or just a pullback and try to get long and get a position going. Um, that is if we don't go into the RTH session and go sideways and dip. Uh, hopefully it'll stay um, moving for us. Uh, in Europe overnight, uh, the European Central Bank kicked off its um, bond buying corporate debt program. So they're going to be issuing um, uh, corporate debt issued by companies including Anheuser-Busch, Telefonica, Simmons, Renault. Uh, and another thing to note in um, the European sector is that Germans, Germany's 10-year bond is about ready to go to below zero, falling to negative for the first time in history. Right now it's, or was trading overnight at 0.033%. So um, dipping into negative territory. But there is some good news uh, for the UK economy ahead of the Brexit vote next week. Um, the Office for National Statistics output rose 2% in April, so we might see some volatility continue for the British pound ahead ahead of the Brexit vote, and that's why I put the pound on my monitor along with the euro. I guess everybody knows that Clinton has won the um, Democratic nomination for president. I think this has soothed the markets, obviously, green across the board. so. Go girl power, huh? Absolutely. Um, so let's um, take this good news and um, soothing markets and see how far we can ride this into today. Um, looking green in the pre-market. Let's see if we can get that to hold over for our RTH session. Y'all have a good trading day. Bye-bye.